All right, y'all. So your underlying energy is the two of pentacles. So there is a lot of decisions to be made right now, practical decisions. And I feel like they have, they greatly affect your emotions, but there isn't a lot of emphasis in looking at it. Now, the reason why you're having to make a lot of decisions is because of the hangman. Um, reverse, this could talking about, it could be talking about, um, enlightenment, of course, but I feel like it's not really talking about the reversed version of the hangman. I'm getting more of the right side up version, which is really talking about being stuck in, stuck in limbo. So it's about figuring out what you want to do despite being stuck in limbo, right? I feel like you're trying to find a solution out of your circumstance, but there is a perspective that's needed at this time. Now, for your current state of being, you guys have the nine of pentacles. So you guys can be very confident in yourselves, confident in um, in your environment. You guys can have everything that you need in the relationship, but then at the same time, you don't have the emotional aspect. I feel like there's a bit of a detachment aspect to this, where somebody may not be giving of themselves, uh, but more of their um, what they can provide in the relationship, which is you know riches, abundance, etc., luxury. Uh, so there's a lot of people, somebody taking care of you or you take care of them, but there's not a lot of, con there's not a connection there. There's the relationship, the emotional aspect, which is, you know, I'm getting cups and, you know, lovers. I'm not getting that you guys are feeling the connection, emotional connection, emotional stability, etc. Now, considering that you had the five pentacles fall out, that could really make sense. You're feeling left out in the cold. You're not really, you know, there's a lack of emotional uh, stability. Um, so... Something emotional is, is lacking in the relationship, so that could indicate this too. For some of you guys, this can indicate that you guys are very much single as well. You guys are very single. You guys can be very bored in, with your situation, but you're not, you guys know that you guys can manifest a long-term relationship. Yeah, I think you guys are in the stage of being ready to commit, but it's just that you have, you know, you know, you have some boring stuff going on. It could be that you guys are in a gilded cage as well, so you may feel like you don't really want to expand, but you also want, you don't want to be alone at the same time. Now, for your hopes, not your hopes and fears, but your goals, you guys want to channel your energy. You guys really want to be in your power. So the Knight of Swords, hang on, I'm just trying to hold this so that way you guys can see. So the Knight of Swords is indicating that you guys want to go out and fight for what you believe and go after it. You know, you guys really want to channel your energy and really be in your power. So I really like this card for you guys because this does talk about going out there and just being yourself, being you know, and channeling your Gemini energy, be, using your intellect and your wits and communicating your truth as clearly as you can. So I do get this energy here that you guys want as your goal. But the thing that's keeping you from channeling yourself is the seven of wands. So for a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys could be waiting on something. A lot of you guys could be, um, you, for some of you guys, I really feel like the reason why you're not able to really go after what it is, fight for you want, fight for whatever it is that you want. Perhaps that you guys are all in a, well, not all, but some of you guys could be in a long distance relationship. There's a distance between you and this person, a great distance. Uh, for a lot of you guys, this could be that you're wanting, you know, you guys are waiting on a response from somebody or you're waiting for something to, to happen so you can take action or you need to take action right now in regards to something that can manifest in the future to get expected to manifest i don't know if you can ex you expect anything to come out of this relationship or this or this um person because they have some issues with being honest not necessarily honest but following through the knight of cups he speaks in the moment he does feel the way he feels he does mean what he means but when it comes to follow through it's not very good he's not very reliable when the things when, when you know when it comes to follow through so with the knight of cups i do get the sense that um the um the knight of cups here could be the a pisces cancer scorpio um but i feel like Perhaps you don't know what to expect because this person has not been very, that's not very good at keeping their word. Okay. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be that you don't know, it's, you know, this could be that you guys have a lot to work, a lot to work on. There's things that need to be taken action because you guys are focused on, focusing on what you guys want. Maybe you guys are focusing on what you want, but you're not taking the action necessary to get you to where you guys want to be. 
Okay. Um, so that, there's a lot of options here. There's a lot of things that can happen here that I'm seeing that's for, for a lot of you, considering this is a general reading, this can really resonate with a lot of people because there is a, you know, single dumb or feeling alone in a relationship and wanting to go out there and make your, you know, be more, you know, open and feel more in your power, feel more in your energy, communicate what it is that's going on, fight for what you believe in, fight for what your truth is in regards to the relationship that you're in that's imbalanced. But, this three of wands is like, there's a lot either waiting for a response, you don't know what to expect because this person has, you know, has problems with keeping their word or, you know, you don't know what to expect because, you know, you're focusing on your heart's desire. Are you, you have this, this action that's needed here because you're focused on your heart's desire so much. I mean, but you're focusing on your, heart, your heart's desire. That's probably what it is. Okay, there's a lot of things that could be happening here. Now, with your advice, you have Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is talking about doing the research, right? Going ahead and looking at the situation for how it truly is. Everything can be wonderful and amazing, but you have to make a lot of decisions. And honestly, this, well, you have to make a decision out of a plethora of options. And honestly, this could be a little bit overwhelming in itself, but it could be like, wow, this is amazing. The best advice I could give you with the Seven of of cops here is to really see every offer for what it is and really be and like really get to the core of the meaning of each one if they can actually be possibly made now if you guys are being presented with an offer with this from this knight of cups which i feel like this is somebody's offering you love this could be a friend that you know that wants more this could be somebody that you know in the past this could be anybody right that's really wanting to express love and to show you love but if they have a hard time with being um being you know to have to following through with their actions and you're sitting always sitting here waiting then it's kind of like okay what is real and what isn't what is solid and what's not solid what is um a promise and what's not a promise because this person doesn't know how to like follow through with what they say they're gonna do like i can already see that you guys are constantly waiting and you're not like you're like okay you said you're gonna do this are you gonna do it now, this could be male or female. It doesn't have to be, a, you know, sex is not, you know, it's not determined with a general reading. But set the Knight of Cups, like, if you love me, if you say you're going to do something, why aren't you doing it? So if you're constantly waiting, then it's like, okay, that makes you feel like you're alone in the relationship, especially if there's some, this person can show, shows a bit of unreliability. You know, they just don't follow through. So really look at a, every offer and kind of question it. Be very questionable about the offers that you get, especially if this person has a history or reputation of not following through with what they say they're going to do. Now for your hopes and fears, you guys have, not your hopes and fears, your feelings, you guys have the lovers. So in your feelings, the lovers can indicate that, you know, you guys feel very much in love with your partner. You feel very connected with this person. You feel like this is a very strong and very powerful connection with you and this person. There's nothing denying that. I do see that, there, you know, that you, there's a lot of love and you're willing to wait for them. You're in a relationship that doesn't give you any emotional, you know, emotional love or any sort of emotion back, you know, there's no emotion reciprocation so i do sense with the lovers here that you guys do feel connected you do feel in love i feel like you guys this is your card right you guys are having to decide what you know whether you know from your love you know your head or your heart right what works for you do you is this love powerful and strong enough to withstand the difficulties of somebody not being um consistent Okay, because consistency is another thing, right? You can't, if you can't rely on this person to be consistent, consistent, then what does that, you know, how does that make you feel? What do you want to do for yourself, right? You're focusing on yourself, focusing on your cup. Could be that, you know, you're very romantic, you're very much in love with this person, but you're sitting here waiting for somebody that's not very reliable in itself, because this could still be you, uh, Gemini. You could be like, I love this person, but if you're always waiting, because they're not being very straight up, because this could be both of you guys, you know, or they're not really good at keeping their word when they say they're going to do something because they say it in the moment and they don't really go, you know, they don't really mean it. Then how does this make you feel? How does this truly make you feel in the relationship? And if that's good enough for you, why? You know what I mean? Because in your hopes and fears, you have the hermit. You don't want to be alone. You don't want to have to go through another situation by yourself or single. But at the same time, I think you... You really want to feel confident and happy in your relationships. You want to feel like you're not alone already. Like you feel alone right now. Like you don't want to be by yourself by yourself. But then at the same time, like you might, you are by yourself. Because this person is not 
connecting with you emotionally. There's no emotional love here. There's no well, there's no emotional connection in regards to this relationship. You feel love for this person, no doubt. But there is a detachment here that's very apparent. So your fear is to be alone, but you're already alone. So I feel like you guys hope to find the solution because the hermit always finds the solution to his problem. It's within himself. That's what he knows that he can find the answer to because he can trust himself and he knows that he can he can overcome any obstacle. So I feel like you guys want to be more confident in, in yourself to be able to overcome the obstacle that it is that's presented here in regards to being in a relationship where there isn't a lot of reciprocation. And I think you guys can do it. It's just going to require you guys to really take what they're saying with a grain of salt with this with the seven of cups now in your outcome you guys have the seven of swords which does raise some hairs for me because this does indicate that there is some dishonesty there's somebody that's you know not be really telling the truth somebody could be sneaking away someone could ghost okay you guys could probably be like you know what the same for me i'm done there's a lot of this could be avoidance as well this ultimately the hopefully with the best case scenario this is somebody taking a risk it's someone taking a risk in the right direction and uh, stepping out outside of their comfort zone because remember i did mention here with the knight of pentacles that this could be a gilded cage this could be something where you're not necessarily wanting to come out of your comfort zone because this is where you are this is where you're safe and stepping out and going ahead and charging at something is very risky and ballsy but it's also very unsafe so you really want to feel like you're comfortable here but you want to go ahead and make something known very make something clear and i feel like taking the risk is the best outcome out of this right but i feel like for some of you guys it may not necessarily turn out that way i feel like for some of you you may deal with somebody that you realize is not being straight up not being really honest with you um you may even hit a a, a batch of um avoidance you might want to just disappear all in the self. Like you don't really want to deal with it. Maybe your hopes and fears all this time was not necessarily that you don't want to be alone, but you're, you know, that you want to actually just go ahead and be on your own. If you're not going to get the relation, you know, to get the connection that you want. It's not saying that you don't love them anymore or any less. This is, this is, this is just talking about like, if you can't be in a relationship where a partner is present, emotionally present with you, then what's the point of being in a relationship at all? So I feel like you guys don't want it to come to terms with that, but you might, like, I feel like honestly what you're trying to say is that you might as well be in a relationship by your own, or just kind of just be single. Just go off and be single and not really connect with anything else. Now, oh man. So if, in your outcome, the seven of swords is coming up with the lovers. So it's almost as if you feel like, I don't want to say that you may feel like the connection that you have is a lie or a connection that you have with this person isn't honest, isn't true. Um, maybe you will realize that con the connection that you have, the feelings that you have, this the soulmate connection that you have for this person may be false. But I do feel like at the same time, you may realize that there's some, there's some falsehoods in this connection that can be repaired, that can be fixed. Because there's still love here, okay? You guys could be seeing another Gemini for all we know, okay? So... Um, you guys, I mean, I don't know for some of you guys out there, you know, this could honestly, it could be that you could be the one that's lying about the connection that you feel You're not necessarily feeling what you feel, or you guys be trying to be forcing a connection with somebody when you know, you don't really feel it. Now this, that's for some of you and some of you out there and very, very rare of you out there, probably like very, like very small amount, but I really feel like honestly, you may find out the connection that you have with this person with this Knight of Cups. They could have been fudging it, they could have been being extra, and they really run, weren't honest about how they felt. Which leaves you with a decision to make about what you want to do with your love life, with what you want to do with yourself. So that could be that, that's what I'm really seeing, okay? That's like a, that's another case scenario for another general reading, you know, for a general reading for you guys. But I feel like somebody's just not being honest about this connection. Somebody's not being straight up. But there's something that's being avoided within this connection that needs, especially a, a decision especially choosing love, making a decision between your head and your heart, avoiding a decision that needs to be made for your happiness, for your overall benefit. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's just, I feel like this could have been the ideal partner, but you've been sitting here around waiting because, and they're not giving you the emotional, you know, they're not giving you the emotional, um, connection that you're looking for in a relationship. You feeling very much alone um i feel like having after everything you've been through it's almost as like i can manifest something that can benefit me emotionally 
You can you you have all the material stuff. You don't really need that. So best advice is to look at your situation from with two eyes, with a third eye. Really see and do you know see through the the, the craziness you know. And also you know you don't want to be in fantasy land with this kind of energy here with somebody not being straight up with someone just saying all the right things and you know being very persuasive in how they feel. You don't really want to be in this, um, okay, I, you know, this dreamy state because it can kind of, it can kind of, it can kind of, you know, get in the way of figuring out what it is that you really need to do for yourself. At the same time, for a lot of you guys, if this is about restoring romantic stuff in your relationship, this is a good card to go ahead and utilize. Going into fantasy land and going ahead and connecting with the dreams and everything like that. Uh, your imagination being creative in that sense to bring the romance back into bring romance back into the relationship you can do that too if this is just someone that you know someone that you love someone that you feel it's that's your ideal partner but at the same time they're not getting there's not a lot of romantic stuff happening you're kind of just sitting here waiting for something to do when you could actually bring in the relationship you know bring in romance in the relationship so there's a lot of things that can happen here so you know, ultimately, what sorry I'm going to stick to is that be careful with going into Phoenix land if some if you feel like somebody's saying things, saying one thing but does something else. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull you guys a wisdom of the oracle. Wow. All right. Okay, guys. And you have all that glitters. See? Oof. That is literally what I was just saying. Be careful with all the glitz and the glamour. Be careful with all those options that are presented to yourself that look real nice, but you don't really know for 100% if they're legitimate. Be careful. Look and do your research. Look past the you know the the sparkly surface, the attractive surface. Look beyond the gold sparkles and see the real stuff behind it. You know, start dusting off the glitter, because what's going on is probably you know somebody is saying one thing, but they're not being honest and they're not being straight up with how they feel, and that could lead you to feeling that there is a connection. You know, the connection that you're in may not be legitimate, and. I don't know this. It could be that you may find out there's something that in this connection that may not be true, but there is still a connection here. I mean, I feel like there is still something that is connecting you. But at the same time, somebody's not being honest. And I feel, feel like you feel, you figure it out. Either you find out the connection is either a lie or you find the lie within the connection so you guys can really begin to make the progress necessary to get, you know, to get to a better place to really connect emotionally. If somebody's not being straight up with you, they are hiding something. If someone is not, if something, that's just weird. Why would they not be open, you know, emotionally open with you? It's a relationship. Oh my goodness. It could be that somebody's trying to avoid something altogether. Like they just don't want to talk about their emotions because something else is bothering them. And it's not necessarily that they're trying to be mean or they're trying to be deceitful or they're trying to hide something. So just remember that with the Seven of Swords, that maybe they're not being open and not talking about stuff or not or being evasive in the relationship because there's something else that's stressing them out and bothering them. And they're not trying to be deceitful. They just they just have a lot of stuff on their plate. It could be that too. You want to come at this with an open mind, open love. You know, that's why the lover's card is your card because there's openness and freedom when it comes to connection and acceptance and understanding. But there's also a decision to make. Okay. And you guys have take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. 